The cultural significance of this historical ficus tree cannot be underrated for the Aivo clan of the Lubara tribe of West Nile, whose elders for over 50 years have been using the tree shade to discuss and deliberate on cultural matters of the Aivo people. Today, this tree gathered under its illustrious shade, Lugbara elders from all of the seven Aivu subclans reconciled the matter of two warring elders who declared themselves chief of the Aivu, an issue termed by some as the leadership disaster that has tormented the Aivu people for over 10 years. According to the bitter elders, the self-proclamation of chieftainship by the two elders, namely Manasse Yuma and Agondua Mike and the subsequent revelry, has not only shamed the Aivu people but also caused two drafts of constitution of the Aivu clan to be written, further deepening the leadership debacle leading to the fractioning of the Aivu people. <laughs> However, things quickly went south after Mike Agondua failed to turn up for the third reconciliatory meeting led by the religious delegation from the Christian and Muslim faith. It was resolved then that the new interim chairperson be appointed to oversee the official appointment. We started the meeting, we ended, he never turned up. So today, he has failed to turn up. I felt really disappointed. You know, for us religious leaders, we aim at peace, reconciliation, unity. All these are the things which we emphasize because they are very clear in our scriptures. We want peace. If there's any problem between two parties or three, there must be forgiveness. And this is the exact thing which we wanted to forge forward, that there must be forgiveness. Why not? This is not correct. I must rise and sign again. We have politicians, councillors, they make a vow. How can this happen? In the meeting, the Aivu elders resolved that all Aivu representatives and clan members from the 48 parishes of Aivu be present during a clan meeting that will culminate into the further preparation for the selection of an authentic Aivu chief. The elders distanced themselves and warned the public, Lubarakari and the government of Uganda against any dealing with the two self-proclaimed chiefs on behalf of the Aivo people. Then this one serves to inform the entire people of Aivo that both Manasseh Yuma and Mike Agondwa are no longer leaders in Aivo. So government should not deal with them. The religious leaders should not also deal with them. They should not be recognized in public 
places. This uh, what I would like to assure the people of Waif and even the curry, look but the curry so not deal with them until the Ayu people will elect uh, a new leader to lead them to promise land. Ivo Division Mayor-elect Avutia Malon expressed disappointment in failure to bring the two factions to table for the greater good of Ivo Division that is comprised of seven sub-counties. He pledged to deal with any form of insecurity arising from the two warring factions of elders in Ivo. I now see the meeting getting prolonged and I've seen the, uh, an interim chairperson has been elected to also call for a bigger meeting where all the seven sub-counties can be represented. I don't know what will come out of that meeting, but I think there's a, there's, there's a proposal that if it is to decide uh, what should happen next, all the corners of the region should be represented. But what is clear in this meeting, the way I see, is that uh, people are tired of the two factions of, of the elders. They are like, we don't want this thing to be here anymore. We want another thing to happen so that uh, peace can prevail. This, this kind of thing you see slightly here, yeah, tomorrow the risks causing escalated unrest and at one moment you find people begin to kill themselves for nothing, for a non-existent position. So for me as the next mayor here, I'll want lawful things to be done. If somebody wants to become a cultural leader, let clear measures be taken. You are either a cultural leader or you are a, a person of your own. If you are a chairperson of an association, you must be clearly defined. So that tomorrow council must know who you are, then we will deal with you accordingly. So this is of confusing the communities here and there. I think I will, I, will, I will not want this. I will be the mayor, but also I will be chairman of security of the division. So anything that is likely to cause insecurity in the division, I think we will, we will cross that. Chiefdom among the Lugbara in general has been a matter lacking consistency among circles of historians and some ardent Lubara men. Some claim the chiefdoms were colonial institutions set up by the British for administrative adjudications, while others, such as these elders, insist in the custom-based pre-existence of the chiefs that supersedes the colonialists. Either way, the Aivu elders have come out, and they seem determined to get the Aivu a new chief. I am Mahajub Muzmil, West Nile Television.